What's up guys, Matt and Blake from footballboots.co.uk and today we are going to show the absolute best 10 boots you can do on Nike ID. Mm -hmm. It's not just one silo, it's Nike's entire silo range and these really are the best 10, there's some stunning colourways. So let's get Blake straight into number 10 and what we're looking at. So this is the Hyperdome Phantom 3, black, crimson, stunning, classic, what do you think? Yeah, I love it, black and red colorways, always get the big ticks from me. Now one difference on this specific pair of the Hyperdomes is the upper, now what are we looking at? So this is pretty much an all flyknit upper. So an all flyknit upper from the Hyperdome Phantom 2 which had Nike skin, but this is all flyknit, much more comfortable, isn't it? Absolutely, and one difference on this one is that it's actually got the leather upper, so it's all flying it, and they've just added a little bit of the leather, which is called the Tech Craft. And as, as we can see, it's the same black color, but there's going to be a little bit of difference in feel. So if you want that slightly softer and more traditional touch and feel on the ball, then this is going to be the version for you. Some nice red laces, red borders on the Nike swooshes, lovely one to start off with the number 10, and let's move on to number 9. So in at number 9 we've got Nike Tiempo Legend 6, it's a lovely boot but let's talk about the actual Nike ID design, what are we looking at? So we've got Volt Yellow on the laces, a bit of speckling in the laces, you added a nice touch there, a really nice sort of swoosh, I haven't seen that swoosh design on a Nike ID before and a bit of Volt on that back portion of the boot, entirely black, you like it? It's a lovely boot, we obviously made a very similar custom to on the Magista Obra 2, really nice looking, black and vault, Nike do black and vault so well, yes. I feel like the vault colour itself mm -hmm. really is Nike's trademark colour, yes, I think it's good. lovely, that redesigned swoosh as you said, classy touch, yes. vault on that external hill, cutting that speckling and lacing, I think it just works so well together. Yeah, the black sole plate overall, this is probably my favourite design in the entire video to be honest. Absolute smash of a Nike ID, but let's move on to number 8 now. So in at number 8, you guys are going to say that we're biased, but these look class. Come on, black and orange, it's a lovely combination of colours. And on the Superfly 5, it looks stunning. It reminds me a lot of the Vapor 1, which was the Shock Orange, which is my favourite boots of all time. So this is why I created this one. Do you like it? I like it because it's just got a very solid colourway. It's not that half-half. That's it. All orange, bit of black. It's, it's really a perfect colour colourway, to be honest. Yep, I totally agree with you. It's all about having that one solid colour yes. with then just a secondary colour with it. We don't like the half and half of the yes. Superfly 5. We don't need that. If, like on the High Venom 3, we don't need the half and half. I think this looks much smarter. And if you are wearing a kit with black socks, yep. primo, absolutely perfect. So one touch you get on Nike ID is you get Nike ID on the sock liners. And yes, the laces and the colourway itself are all just solid colours. They're not like gradients or anything. That's it, you can credit exactly how you want it. That comes in at number eight, so let's move on to number seven. So this is our number seven Nike ID boot, and it's another pair of the Hyperdome with threes, but not the Tech Craft. This is just a standard rule, so the full flying it up, and you can do a lot more color combinations on this because the Tech Craft is just black. Now, what inspiration is this for you? So Wayne Rooney 250 finish, it's pretty much that boot, but in the Hyperdome Phantom 3. Overall, I'm not a massive fan of white boots, but this one, just the top down look, looks stunning. What do you like? Yeah, I think it's a bit of a strawberries and cream look, so if you're a fan of Wimbledon, I think you'll like yeah. these. It reminds me of an early pair of the Total 90 Supremacies, right. which are game all white and red, so one of my own kind of fan favourites. I love this kind of design on the back it's of like the hill. Candy cane, isn't it? Candy cane with that striped red and white, I think it's classy. One thing you can do on the high is just change that front colour of the yes. sole plate. Yes. So this stays black, but then you can just give that any accent. We gave it red, just to complement the look. So let's move on to number six, and we've got the Magista over at two, and this is pitch dark with a twist. It's much more modern and yes. bold. What are the colors used? Black, pretty much all black, with a bit of hyper pink. That's what Nike called their pink. Yep. So pink on the laces, pink on the swoosh logo, and pink on that heat mat. What do you think? Now, one boot that this actually reminds me of looking back in the past are those Nike Recruit SLs. Do you remember those ones, which are yes. the carbon fiber yes. ones? Black and pink. I feel like Nike do black and a secondary colour yeah, so well, just like black and vault. Black and pink, I think they are stunning boots. The Magista Obra 2 are nice boots as well. You can also choose if you want the heat map or not, so that's up to you. But obviously, that's our number six, so we're going to move on to number five. So we're at our halfway stage at number five, and we've got another pair of Nike Mercurial Superfly 5s. These are classy, you love them. Talk us through. It's almost like a metallic gold we see on the entire upper, with yeah. a bit of black on the flyknit and sole plate and swoosh logos. Again, you can't really complain with this. I haven't actually seen anyone wear this on, on pitch, but... No, I mean, it surprises me that no one has actually made this Nike ID because I think gold and black work so well together. It doesn't even have to be on football boots. I think just in anything, clothing yeah, exactly. trainers, exactly. gold and black is classy. I remember a Mercurial Vapor 2, which was gold and black. Brings back memories of them. I think these are classy. Yeah, so I mean, again, it's got that solid gold colorway. There's no half-half design. It's a really perfect combination of black and gold together overall. 
smash of a colour. Decent boot, number five, let's move on to number four. So in at number four is something a little bit different and this is no doubt a boot made for the summer pitches because they could get dirty so quickly, exactly. what we're looking at. So pretty much it's like a saw blue we see on the Team Pro Legend 6 with white as the secondary colour. Really, really good combination between the two colours itself overall. I think it's quite nice for a white and blue colourway. That's it, I think if you're playing for Chelsea in the home kit, yeah, Everton exactly. in the home kit, I think these are going to suit you so nicely. I think if you had crisp white socks, the whole boot and the sock combo will look ultra sharp. So I do like the touches of sort of blue branding on the back here. We'll go to this image. So this is a very cool thing you can do with Nike ID. You can actually instead of replace the Tempo and Nike Swoosh with your name, is that right? Yeah, that's it. So if you wanted to put Matt on that side, I can do, or maybe my squad number or initials. That's absolutely fine. We just went for Tempo and Nike Swoosh because it looks really smart. But that comes in at number four. So let's move on to our top three. So in at third place is another Football Boots inspired. Call us biased, but I think these look classy again. Hyphen and Phantom 3, the standard model, what are we looking at? So pretty much a black and orange Hyphen Phantom 3. You've seen it before, but this is really, really stunning. Again, it's that half-half design with black on the lateral side and orange on the medial side. So I really do like the strap design on the back of the heel. I think it merges the two colours so well together. And on the back of the sole plate, we just gave those orange touches at the front, as we said, you can change that. But that comes in at number three. So let's move on to number two. So our second place boo is all about Blake. Walk us through it. So touch of gold. This is the idea of the number two in this list. Tempo Legend 6 with a touch of gold. So pretty much all white upper with gold touches here and there. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this design. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously got the Ronaldinho 10, our touch of gold in-house. One of your favorite boots in here. So this is why I've recreated this one a little bit for you. But I love that you can give it a gold sole plate as well. Something you can't really do to many of Nike ID's boots, but you can yes. give it a full gold sole plate. Yes, the gold is sort of different. It's not like a metallic gold. It's more or less like a matte gold. Yeah. So that's probably the thing you can, it's a bad thing about Nike ID, but it's not really a bad thing. Metallic gold is pretty much what you see in the touch of gold, but gold and white, you can't really complain from a Nike ID. I think these are absolutely stunning, very classy boot. That comes in at number two. So let's move on to the number one boot you can create on Nike ID. So the number one boot you can create on Nike ID, Man United plays, make sure you're watching and listening. This is the Mercurial Vapor 11 and it comes with a gradient design from the back of the boot to the front. What is this all about? It's, it's a very, very slick Nike ID template. Nike have done well to add this gradient, like Matt said. So black and red, I mean, it's perfect, really. Can't really go wrong with this color. It's only two colors on the solo, though. That's it, so it's just two colors. It's the black and the red. But the way it merges together, even the speed ribs of those horizontal ridges work so well because it breaks up the colorway really nicely. Now, the actual gradient effect of it isn't something you can do on kind of any other of the Nike ID boots. So take advantage of it because it is one of the classiest designs on Nike ID. Red and black work so well together. And that pretty much wraps up the top 10 Nike ID boots that you can create. Vote in the poll card for your favorite one. And also let us know in the comment section below what kind of combinations you would do as well for yourself. Thanks for watching guys and as always, we'll see you next time.